In a statement issued this afternoon by the National Council of Higher Education, Professor Mary Okwakol, the executive director, has assured the public that the qualifications of graduates whose programs had received prior accreditation are valid. <laughs> the statement from the tertiary institution's regulatory body was drawn out to reassure the public that qualifications awarded by higher education institutions in Uganda are highly regarded at home and abroad. However, degree programs categorized as expired mean that the institutions have not yet conformed to the requirements for reassessment. Today, a number of universities, including Makere University, have come out to reassure the public that their degree programs are valid. In a statement, Professor Henry Alinaitwe, the acting vice chancellor of Makere University, said some programs listed as uncredited have either completed the review or are at different stages of the review process. This marks a change from yesterday's memo to staff members when the vice chancellor of Makere University, Professor Banabas Nawangwe, admitted to laxity on the university's part for having courses that are not accredited. But, but to, to be honest. Meanwhile, Dr. Lawrence Muganga, the Vice Chancellor of Victoria University, has assured the public that the current storm over unaccredited courses does not warrant alarm. Those documents are not right, they are fake. National Council has never authored them, Cambridge University has never authored them. They are authored by someone we all don't know, but it's a fake document. Dr. Muganga says a course which is not accredited does not mean a degree is expired. Even someone who comes on it when it is a year to the end will still remain on the older curriculum. Even if I re-accredited it, I will only recruit new people to go to that curriculum. It does not kill the other curriculum because that curriculum had been accredited by National Council for Higher Education. He instead lays the blame on the understaffing and underfunding of the National Council of Higher Education. How do you have a, an institution that doesn't have even more than 40 staff, but they have to, over, to ensure quality assurance of over almost 20,000 programs in this country? Sometimes they are not going to handle to return this program to us on time. Earlier today, guild presidents from four universities threatened to mobilize students to abandon payment of the annual 20,000 shillings that every student has to pay to the National Council of Higher Education. Jambogo University has 33,000 students. And we have we 40,000. We don't even need it. <laughs> we don't need transport to come there. We are going to foot there and you account for with effect from today, we are no longer going to pay money for National Council of Education. The 20,000, I have also directed the student representative on National Council of Education to deliver our message to the council. A degree program that has been accredited means that a graduate has an increased chance of employability as well as recognition on the global academic stage. Gillian Nantume, NTV, tonight.